So, does she look like me? Do y'all think she looks like me? Yes, she does. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Hey, it's your girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> look. <laughs> you don't like this. I'm drinking. Hey. Hey, it's your girl Michelle Renee, and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing the asking my mom questions that you're too afraid to ask yours. So, as if I'm gonna answer the questions, right? I gotta answer the questions. Yeah. Okay. okay. You ready? Yeah. All right. You gonna let me introduce myself? Am I gonna introduce myself again? You don't have to. I you can just put the them together. Lesson? But okay. Do the lap. Okay. <laughs> don't edit this. Keep this in there. Okay. <laughs> Question number one: What were you like in high school? I was. What do you mean? What was I like? What were you like? Were you like? Fun. Were you like the class clown? Were I wasn't you... the class clown. I was considered like I was semi popular. I played mm -hmm. on the varsity sports. I was one of the best athletes on track and field and the basketball team. I started on every basketball team. Even as a freshman, I was JV varsity. I didn't fight much, but people knew not <laughs> to mess with me. I didn't fight much. I didn't. All right. It's different. Have you ever snuck out? No, I didn't have to. My mom let me go out. <laughs> I hung out with my sisters. As long as I was with my sisters, you know, I didn't have to sneak out. She And I was honest with her. She she knew what I was doing. What would you do if I told you I didn't want to or I dropped out of college? I would ask you, what's your what's your plan? Because I don't think college is for everyone. You know me. I'm a, I'm a professor. Mm -hmm. I believe education is good. But college is not for everyone. So... I would have to know why if you're dropping out because you were pregnant if you're dropping out because you just didn't want to do nothing else with your life that's a whole different story but if you're just gonna just get out and work you know with for minimum wage then I would say no you're gonna stay in college what is the most rebellious thing you have ever done rebellious thing I've ever done I don't consider anything I've done rebellious I just did what I felt like I wanted to do if it okay so what was something your mom was like don't do it and you did it but it was like probably like something you were like mm, yeah I actually like probably shouldn't have done it well it, my mom never knew I was <laughs> but I, I I gave some of my money to a girl that she wanted to have an abortion mm -hmm. and I gave her my money and my mom was trying to figure out what did I do with $150 and I was like I don't know I couldn't I couldn't because mm -hmm. I didn't want to tell her that I helped somebody get an abortion mm -hmm. but I felt bad afterwards but I guess it may have been rebellious had I told her because she would have said, don't give that girl that money. What have you done that's so rebellious? How about We're you not tell talking me? about me. We're talking yeah. about you. <laughs> How would you feel if I was on birth control? How would I feel if you... Well, you're 18 now. I would feel better that you have made that decision to get on birth control. Um, but I would also hope that you're not just on birth control, but you're using protection when you're having sex. You want me to get on birth control? No. <laughs> I'm not. Uh oh. So this somebody... next question makes me like nervous. Now you say you talk to people. What would you do if I became a teen mom? <laughs> okay, is that a question that I need to know? Really? <laughs> no, no, no. It's just a question. A teen mom. Well, you're 18, so you're almost an adult. Um, there's nothing. I mean, I wouldn't want you to have an abortion. I would be disappointed, not for me, because my life, I'm finished my life. I'd be disappointed with you because becoming a parent at such a young age is a bit major sacrifice. There's a lot of things you would have to give up, and I would not make it easy for you. Yeah. Meaning, you couldn't go out hanging with your friends all the time you got to stay home take care of your baby now if you're going to work or school i would help you watch your child and make sure you have the proper child care mm -hmm. okay let's get off that because that's not happening for a few years okay i hope so I promise if you were my age would we be friends yeah why why would we be friends if you were 18 would me and you be friends yeah because you're a likable person you're you're a pretty cool person. 
Uh, but you, you can get on my nerves, though. Unfortunately. Because I think we're good friends now, even as Yeah, parents. you're my best friend. Anyways, mm -hmm. what's something crazy you did in the military? Something crazy I did in mm -hmm. the military? Something crazy I did in the military. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did anything crazy. I mean, I... Oh, you think I did? <laughs> I'm just wondering. Um, probably my crazy thing was having an affair with the older... Like, I was just an airman. And I, I, I had affairs with married guys who were like... <laughs> who were senior NCOs and they were, you know, ranking officials in the military. But that was just... So that's how you got promoted? No. no it had kidding. nothing to do with my promotion. <laughs> I would say that would probably be the craziest thing I did. How many times did you do that? Um, Two. Two guys that were married. Multiple times, though? What do you mean multiple times? What do you mean multiple Like, you only laid down with them once or like... No, it was times? an affair. It was... At the same time? No, oh, okay. no, no. I wasn't that like that. Okay. No. When you were my age, were you considered intimidating? Yeah, I, yeah, people didn't think I, I mean, I wasn't like, I wasn't a bully, but people knew I wasn't a, like, I was like my mom said, I didn't run from trouble, but I, I didn't, I didn't make trouble, but I didn't run mm -hmm. from trouble. So people knew that if I had to fight, I would fight. Did you ever cheat on, like, a person? We didn't call it cheating back then. <laughs> so. I, mean, no, I, I never cheated on anyone I was, I committed to be serious with. Now, if the other person thought we were seriously dating, and I didn't think we were seriously dating, they may have thought I was cheating, but I was like, no, we are not in a committed So, from your perspective, you didn't cheat, but from no. somebody else's perspective, you I would never did. cheat. I, th I think cheating is just disrespectful. I think if there's someone else you're interested in that you want to be with, you should make sure the re other relationship is not in a committed relationship. Mm -hmm. If you feel you have to cheat, then you're really not committed to the other person. <laughs> and you should just make that known. Hey, I just think we need to back off a little. I want to see other people mm -hmm. and move it that way. Because if you got to cheat, then Wise you're a little words confused. From Kelly J. I think you're confused if you got to cheat. Facts. You think? I mean, you... do you judge me for my choices? I don't know because I don't know all the choices you made. You know, the major ones. Like what? The Give ones I've one. gotten in trouble for. All the oh. other choices aren't, like, very relevant. So, why don't you just put it out there? What have you gotten in trouble for? Um, that doesn't need to be on the internet yet. Okay. <laughs> Do I judge you for that? No. Or if there's anything I'm, like, me, me I don't judge you. My I relationship just, or, like. I just, I, I'm disappointed in some of your choices. I can't say judging, but being disappointed is not because I'm so disappointed in you. I look at you differently. I was just like, I wish you would have made different choices at a different time. I wish you would not have entered into that or experienced that yet. Mm -hmm. I'm not judging so you. So do you think I was too immature for some of my choices? Yes. Okay. What's something you did that you never got caught for? Probably having sex. I started... <laughs> <laughs> well, my mom, she didn't know I was having sex. But you I didn't mean, get caught. You were grown. I was grown, but I was still doing stuff. I wasn't having sex, but I was doing sexual things that my mom didn't know. Would you let me drink with you? If you were of age. But I don't Boring. drink. I would, we could drink wine. Boring. Now? No. <laughs> You got to be of age. I could go to jail giving you a drink underage. No, not in Georgia. Yes, you can. You have to be 21 to drink in Georgia. Oh. Even as a When we moved to Wisconsin. Lauren's going to be an adult. Yeah, me and her might sit out and have a glass of wine. Y'all not going to leave me out. <laughs> That's what y'all not going to do. <laughs> All right. When was the first time you went to the club? First time I went to the club? Yeah, like how old were you? What grade were you in? I think I was 15. What month? No, just kidding. <laughs> I was a freshman in high school sometime, somewhere. No, it had to be the summer of my eighth grade because I, I met I met my boyfriend in, in um, 
as a freshman in high school. So I was what? I don't know. What's eighth grade? 14, 15 years old? Really? But I was, I didn't look 14 or 15. Yeah. I hung out with my sister, so they made me look older. Okay. What do you think about me? Why would you ask me that? What do I think about you? I think you're a very cool person. I think you're really level headed. I think you're somewhat mature for your age. Um, but I think you have this hardness about you. You're, 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 you have a defiance that in your back of your mind, you're going to do what you want to do regardless. And so I'm just waiting for those days when I have to be there to catch you when you fall. Because I just think you're going to try some things no matter what. But I think you're a loyal person. I think you're a really good friend to friends. Um, you're not naive. You're very... So that's why I know when you do stuff, you have carefully thought about it. And most of the stuff you do is not a mistake. <laughs> you, you really, you have very spoiled. You're very spoiled. And stubborn. Yes, stubborn and spoiled. You get the stubbornness from your dad, though. Both of you. No, I'm not stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. I'm not but stubborn. Y'all are stubborn. So, What's your body count? My body count? What's a body count mean? How many people you've had sex with? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> In life? <laughs> yes, in life. Um, <laughs> maybe 10. <laughs> in life, I'm 55. <laughs> Where's the craziest place you've had sex in the house? <laughs> Can't tell you that either. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're walking on it. Yeah, you're sitting on it. I'm just kidding. No, you're not. So I'm doing the intro. I'm doing the outro for my video because me and my mother, we were going to film some more questions because I started editing it and I was like, I don't really think this is interesting. But I don't know. You might find it interesting. But I just felt like her, the questions I asked her weren't that interesting. So we're going to refilm it again. But it never happened and I doubt it's going to happen. So I just wanted to get this entire video video i just wanted to get this entire video done so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys all in my next video